Data classification. Is it the same as data categorization? Not quite. So let's clarify this confusion as these terms are often used interchangeably when in fact they shouldn't. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Videos are added each week on data management and data governance topics to help you become a more knowledgeable data professional. Today's topic addresses the difference between data classification and data categorization. And please stay until the end because I'll also address the relationship between the two. So is there a difference between data classification and data categorization in the information and data environment? Some say this, there's no difference. It's the same thing. Data classification, data categorization, doesn't quite matter. Potato, potato. And others say, yeah, there's a difference. And what makes it equally confusing is that these terms are sometimes used interchangeably and sometimes they reference each other. So are they different? According to this research paper, they are. You can read it for free, by the way, from ResearchGate, so I'll make sure to link to it in the comments below. So why don't we first start with data classification. Now, classification as a process involves the orderly and systematically assignment of each entity to one and only one class within a system of mutually exclusive and non-overlapping classes. English, please. You can definitely watch this video on data classification and its importance if you'd like to find out more. But the key takeaway is that assignment of each entity is done to one and only one class that is mutually exclusive from other classes. In data management, in particular within the data privacy and security, data classification is used to tag structured and unstructured data, most often according to its sensitivity level, into mutually exclusive categories. Those categories could be high sensitivity medium sensitivity or low sensitivity, or think of them as high risk, medium risk, low risk data. What about data categorization? Categorization is the process of dividing the world into groups of entities whose members are in some way similar to each other. So data could then be categorized as high sensitivity data, medium sensitivity data, and low sensitivity data. Yeah, that's true. So what's the difference? Well, the difference is that these groups referred in the data categorization don't need to be mutually exclusive, but in data classification, they have to be. So within data classification, you have to be in one or the other. Within data categorization, you can be in one or multiple at the same time. Let's take an example. Let's say that we need to organize a list of products that a company manufactures. And let's say that they produce products such as bunk beds and adjustable beds, cradles, water beds, Murphy beds, couches, canopy, clip-in, futon, etc. And let me know in the comments if you've not heard of some of these names. Now, some of these products can be categorized as beds and some as couches. And some could go under either, such as the futon. And I have one right behind me, by the way. It's right that yellow one, that's a futon. It's actually quite comfortable. So the futon in here could be categorized under either category. Could be assigned to both. And most often it is actually assigned to both. But as data classification, it would just basically have to go under one or the other. Let's take some other real world examples. Let's look at the hierarchy of a company and see where we would place a web developer within the organization. And if that exercise represents a data categorization or a data classification, let's place the web developer in the web development team. Makes sense. And then we can place that web development team as part of the IT. So this follows a hierarchy, web development team, IT. So is this a categorization or a classification? Well, it's a categorization because we can equally say that the web developer is part of the web development team, but they are also part of IT. So in a way, they are in two places at once. And remember that data classification can only be part of one. They're mutually exclusive. 
if this was a data classification, we could have said that, no, you're either IT or you're web development. Now, determining the pay scale for the web developer, on the other hand, would be a classification exercise. Because if we add more, more responsibilities to the current role, then that gets bumped up to a higher role, perhaps a senior web developer. If we add more responsibilities to the senior web developer, then maybe it goes into a management role and so forth and so on. So as a senior web developer, you would still incorporate the responsibilities of the junior web developer, but you're not both. You're either a junior or a senior web developer. And because of that, and the fact that it's following a hierarchy, this is an example of classification. Now let's explore the relationship between data classification and data categorization. Usually a human or even a software would just first categorize the data. So category the data belongs to is selected, such as passport number, health record, financial record, job posting, strategy plan, a type of document, a type of file, and so forth and so on. There's many, many different ways that we could categorize our data for different types of purposes. Think of it as many different ways of slicing and dicing your data. And once that's done, a different process kicks in and assigns the applicable sensitivity level based on some predetermined rules. For example, you can say that regardless of the type of file, if it is categorized as a health record, then that will be classified as high sensitivity. Everything that has been categorized as job postings, on the other hand, would be low sensitivity data. But all job postings that include data that was categorized under passport number will go up to the high sensitivity and so forth and so on. Not in both. And this process could be manual and be done by a human or more automatic and be done by a script or a program. So that's the relationship between data classification and data categorization and their differences. In the end though, you'll encounter them as synonyms or as being different terms representing different processes. That's why I recommend finding out their definition from the person you're talking to, from the article that you're reading, from the vendor pitching you their solution. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe as there's at least one video added each week. Thank you.